Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection, an Evens End of Month Giveaway. Well, <clears throat> let's go ahead and kick it off with our first set. Let's do it. Oh man, that's a little, it's a little much, but hey, what the hell, why not push it? And if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. Go so today is Eben's end of month giveaway. Woo! Lost count on that one. Pushed past the uh, pain there. Woo! Oh man. Oh, gives you a rush. All right, so today is going to be exciting. We got lots of great information for you that's going to help you out not only with your car so your car runs longer and stay stronger but we're also going to give you some great advice so today we're going to be talking about three things we've got our uh, health we're going to be talking about life and success so I'm gonna be giving you my secrets at the minuscule amount of time that I've been on this earth, only 32 years. I'm gonna share with you everything I know and give you the best that I can. So we're gonna start out with our health. Uh, Jack LaLanne is, is one of my favorites. Jack LaLanne was a TV uh, host for about 34 years. He was born in 1914 and uh, he came up with the jumping jack. And that's Jack Lane. So uh, definitely check out Jack Lane on YouTube. You'll learn a lot of stuff from Jack. Um, we're gonna move on to Chris Heria. Chris Heria is uh, one of my favorites. And Chris is a YouTuber out of Miami. Very colorful gentleman, creative, and he does all different stuff on how to work out without weights. So he shows tons of stuff without weights, Chris Heria, right here, and uh, Jack Lane, Dr. Berg. Dr. Berg is a YouTuber that teaches you how to eat right. So he'll teach you how to take electrolyte powder. He'll teach you how to uh, do intermittent fasting, all these different things to get healthy. So you saw the results in the beginning of this video of how I've gotten healthy. And uh, you've seen me from when I started my channel four years ago, which you can just go back and look at what I looked like. So these three things really help me a lot. Obviously, a lot of work goes into it. Life, my best life advice that I can give you, <clears throat> how you treat people. So think about it. Everyone you touch, no matter what you say to them, whatever, <clears throat> it all comes back around. So I mean, the way you treat someone from the way you look at them, the way you help them, the way you give them advice, and, uh, you know, the best thing you can do is make a difference. And if you don't make a difference, then, you know, maybe don't say anything. But if you can help someone and make a huge difference, that's all that really counts. Giving. Obviously, if you give something to someone, you're making a difference because you're giving value, you're giving advice, you're giving something. You know, that's all that counts is just giving something, which I always like to give it. Give it my best, no matter what. Um, another thing, 10 years, continuous value giving. So if you do something for 10 years, if you think of the guys I'm getting ready to show you that are successful, they've all done 10 years basically without having tons of interruptions. They haven't gotten hurt. They haven't 
had all kinds of entanglements with lawsuits or um, drug addictions or stuff like that. They haven't been married and had 10 kids and spent all that time with 10, 15 kids on a family. I mean, having a family with 10 kids, I know what it's like. I've seen an Amish farm back in Pennsylvania, the Hoover farm, of great people. And I learned so much from them. I went over there and milked the goats and milked the cows. And I always said one day if I had a family, I would definitely have 10 kids and I would live on a farm, but I don't live on a farm and I don't have any kids. So, but one day if I do, I would live on a farm. Because, you know, it's, it's a lot more cost effective and the kids more than pay for themselves because they create, they create uh, lots of work and they create lots of food. So 10 years of continuous giving. Success. These are some of my favorites here. Jack LaLanne. Jack says, your health account is like your bank account. <clears throat> Basically, if you don't put in, you can't take out. If you don't uh, take care of your body and stuff like that. So your health account is like your bank account. If you don't put in, you can't take out. And uh, Jack LaLanne's a funny guy. A lot of French jokes. A lot of silly, dirty stuff that he does. A lot of innuendos. Check out Jack Lane um, on the... Uh, there's a show he's on where it's really funny. I forget the name of it, but we're going to keep rolling. Tiger Woods. Um, I always wear Tiger Woods clothing. It fits me really well. This is a Tiger Woods shirt. These are Tiger Woods pants. And um, just love the pants. They have a stretchy crotch in them, so when you kneel down your pants don't bind up on you. You know, if you're putting on the green, you can bend down and you don't have to worry about ripping your pants. So it's really nice to have that um, flexibility so I can actually do yoga in this outfit and it's not gonna stretch or hurt anything or rip. So love Tiger Woods. Um, Tiger Woods, his dad, Earl Woods, got in his son's head when he was younger and he said, you'll never meet anyone stronger than you mentally. So it's true, you know, if you get in someone's head and you give them this advice early on, especially someone younger, and they get that confidence, it can really change someone's life. And I mean, look what it did for his son. And uh, so I love Tiger Woods. I love, you know, everything he shared with everybody. You know, I liked him before he got divorced and stuff and all that problems. And I just thought he was a robot. You know, I didn't think he was a real person. And I thought he was a little bit fake. And then he had these problems. He got divorced. He, I don't know what all happened, but I mean, it was some crazy stuff. And then I saw some color in him. I saw more character. I saw he was a real person. I had more respect for him. And then he admitted what he did. You know, he wasn't trying to hide nothing. And, you know, to me, just be honest, you know, anyone can basically find anything out these days. The internet, not going to really get away with lying too much anymore. So no point to lie. So that's what I love about Tiger. And he just doesn't give up. He doesn't lay down. He's not a sappy pussy. You're not going to see him, you know, going halfway. He goes all the way. And that's what I pride myself on, on being a professional you luber I love lubing on the channel. Lube to love, love to lube. And it just goes around and around and around. And I love helping people. And speaking of helping people, now for my third and one of my favorites. <clears throat> Man, I love this guy. This guy is just, oh, I love him. Jackie Chan. He's my favorite um, action hero that does his own stunts. Jackie jumps through panes of glass. He, he gets nailed in the balls with barbed wire fence. I mean, he, he'll be hanging by a ladder on a rung on his shin. I mean, he's broken ankles, feet, ribs. I mean, he's just beating the shit out of himself. And I mean, I have so much respect for him taking one from the team. And, uh, man, he just, he doesn't give up, man. I love that guy. I love Jackie Chan. He's, I don't know. He might be my favorite out of all of them, I think. But, uh, so, um, Jackie, most of the time, I'm not even working. I just help people because I feel that I am too lucky. So, basically, I can relate to that a lot. You know, what I do with my skill sets that I've developed over the years of thousands of hours from juggling and entertainment and magic and dealing with people, driving cab, doing magic for tips, doing all these different things. It just takes so much time and you develop this and it's like, 
shit, I'm so lucky I developed all this talent, this uh, developed, uh, learned processes. Why shouldn't I help people? So I, I'm like, you know what? I get self-conscious if I'm not helping someone. I don't feel good about myself. I kind of feel, I feel like I'm losing. I feel like others are losing. And I just, I'm not a loser and I don't like losing. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give up and not help someone when I can so easily with a snap of the fingers go and help someone. So that's uh, Jackie Chan, Frank Sinatra. Frank is a very colorful gentleman. Um, he's got more awards in TV, radio, and uh, acting than almost anybody in the world. If you don't know about Frank Sinatra, a lot of people, they think he's nothing until I researched him and found out how big of a deal he was. And then I found out how great he was after seeing what he's done over the span of time he's done it. So he's been active for 50, 60 years in entertainment. He's accomplished stuff that almost no one's ever accomplished. And this is my favorite quote by Frank. You only go around once, but if you play your cards right, once is enough. So basically, you know, you go around life and, you know, you get this hand. And uh, no matter what hand it is, and the best you're going to do is the best you can do with it and figure it out. You know, if you got a bluff, if you got a fold, if you got a raise, you do what you got to do. But at the end of the day, don't sit there and do nothing, you know. Well, doing nothing sometimes is good, but I mean, don't, <laughs> don't do and not do anything and not, you know, get anywhere or do try anything, you know. So that's kind of what I'm taking away from it. You take away from, from it whatever you want to. So these are some of my favorites. Um, I've coming up with some of my silly jokes slash stuff over the years. I say uh, it's a little modification of Jack LaLanne. Um, I say anything in life is pussyable if you tap it from the right angle. So get out there and tap that sucker. Get out there and make it happen. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. You do the best you can and you work it out. And uh, so, so much great information with these guys. And now we're given this. Now we're going to go ahead and give a little more entertainment and some money. So today we're going to give away $500 in gift cards. These are our giveaway contestants. These guys have all left a comment on the channel. And uh, that's how you get in the giveaway. Just leave a comment within the first half hour. That really helps out the channel. Slap that thumbs up button if you love this content that lets people know it's great content and uh i always say sharing uh you know the content and giving back and just love that stuff so we're going to get to the cards and we're also going to mention the uh other giveaway i do on my other channel las vegas magic friends las vegas magic friends is uh another channel i do here all in and around las vegas lots of entertainment silly jokes comedy risque humor we see people all over that are working active magicians com comedians jugglers um we see it all it's a loads of fun i love joking around with everybody i love doing it and uh so now i'll give you a little entertainment we got our cards each name here is one of these cards so now i'm going to show you a couple of fans this is called the thumb fan they call this the pressure fan so there's lots of different stuff, but if you want to see some card flourishes on how to do all these different types of cuts, there's all kinds of different moves you can do with the cards. If you want to learn that, check out this up here in the corner. That's a whole playlist on my other YouTube channel where I do these card flourishes and I show how to do these crazy fans and stuff, you know, which a lot of people haven't seen this, but it's amazing that with a little bit of practice, you can learn a lot of these things. So we're gonna give these a mix, give them a little shuffle, and we're just gonna yank five cards right out of the middle, and these five people all won a $100 gift card. So here we go. Got them all mixed up. <clears throat> give them a little overhand shuffle. And that's it, here we go. <clears throat> five right out of the middle, three, four, five, right here. 
Uh, yeah, that's five. These guys won. Right here. <clears throat> First one. Ace of spades. Eight of spades. Eight of spades. Jeff Mock. Jeff Mock from California. $100 gift card. We got our queen of spades. Queen of spades. Clayton Schaefer, our good man Clayton. Thanks, Clayton, for always being a part of the channel. Thank you for all the recommendations over the years and advice and always being in touch and sharing content with me, pictures. I appreciate that. We're on two, two of hots. Two of hots. Narcisse Narcigian, our good man Narcisse. Oh my God, he's won so much stuff on the channel. It's unbelievable. He won the snips two months ago, I think, or three months ago, the Snap-on Snips, which if you didn't know, we give away, uh, that was the two of hots, yeah, two of hots. Sometimes I get mixed up here, I get mismatched. All this action, excitement. Uh, but yeah, we gave him some Snap-on pliers, which if you didn't know, we give hundreds of dollars in Snap-on tools away here on the channel. Sometimes even, oh my God, almost thousand dollar tools, so. Definitely stick around and see more giveaways. You're going to like them. We got the eight of hots. And we give stuff away that lasts long. I mean, when I say, let's get your car to run longer and stay longer. That's what I say with the tools, too. We don't give doggy scraps tools away in the channel. Snap on the best of the best of the best. Made right here in America. Most of them are made in America. King of spades. King of Spades. Patrick Salantino. Oh my God, Patrick, our good man from Florida. Patrick is always a lot of fun, always sharing a lot of great things. It's amazing how many of these guys here that are winning have given to the channel so much. It's amazing how that kind of works out and the reciprocation, completely nutty. I've had people that they've given to the channel so much they've won like five times. And I, I, I honestly mix these cards up. I, I don't know, I have no, no idea how this happens. Eight of hots. Eight of hots. Alex Stringham, our good man, Alex. He won a hundred dollar gift card. All right. Here are our winners. We're gonna give you the close up of what this looks like. Right here, we're going to give you a close up of exactly what it looks like. Here is our fan of cards right here. And I'm going to want you to go right on ahead and check out more videos. And uh, this is some of the Amsoil products, which this is what we do on the channel. And if you want to try these products, go ahead and click the reverse down arrow below. That'll give you all the products. Um, when you use my link, I'll be your Amsoil dealer so I can answer your questions on the products. And uh, this is what I do about 60, 70 hours a week. So uh, I don't give up, I don't lay down, and I keep lubing. And I always say lube to love, love to lube. And uh, this is my achievements over the last year. Eighth and new customers, eighth and new qualified accounts. And that's the owner of Amsoil, Ali Matuzio. So yeah, 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 this is what I've been up to. And um, we've been doing this now for almost five years. So I love it. I love it. And uh, if you wanna ask me any questions, just leave that comment down below. Happy to answer all your questions on the products. And what else, what else? Hey, check out some uh, past giveaways here. This is a whole playlist. Check out this right here. This is on uh, oil changes. You get a kick out of those, and uh, we'll see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.